Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, East Bay Stamp Chick. This is Michelle, and I am back finally with Love in a Dozen 5x7 cards. I have a brand new sketch and guide. So this is sketch and guide number three for everyone, and this will be a free PDF download. The link will be in the description box down below. So I know it's been a while and I am so excited. You know, life interrupted me for a while and I wasn't able to get this done, but I have a new one. This right here will show you exactly all the materials that you need to complete a dozen five by seven cards. And it'll tell you exactly what I used to make my first set of five by seven cards. And it does give you a few ideas as far as if you wanna change it up. And if you just want to make one card, it gives you all the measurements so you can just make one card because maybe you don't need a dozen. It does have a cutting guide of how I cut everything out. You could, of course, do it completely different. You might find a way to do it that is uh, better for you or makes more sense. But this is how I did it. And there's a few tips on here as well and ways that you could, you know, change it up. So I will... Uh, show you the cards that I made and what I used and then uh, there will be a few other videos as well that will show you additional cards to give you more inspiration of how to utilize the sketch. Also you could always change this the measurements and make it into an A2 size card if that's the size that you like to make but what I do that is unique for this particular sketch and guide is that these are all five by sevens. So I know there are other A2 size sketch and guides out there, a two size card sketch and guides, but I decided to go ahead and do some five by sevens. It's not a size I have done a lot in the past and I really enjoy making these bigger cards. So having some fun with that. All right, my cards today, I used Echo Park Victoria Garden patterned paper, which is a really old collection kit. And one of my missions uh, was to get that kit used up in January which is when I made these cards. So I used two pieces of 12 by 12 paper from that kit. I used the LDRS Trailing Hummingbird Stamps, Dies, and Stencil. And then I also used the My Wish For You, which is the sentiment um, stamp set. So this right here is a look at the LDRS Creative um, Trailing Hummingbird stamp set. Okay, so that's the one that I used. And well, I have some extras in here. So you can't really see the back. Let's move those. I can get these out. There we go. So you can see it's really pretty. Look at that. Really pretty. I am going to say that making these was hard. <laughs> so there is a definite trick to getting those made where they fit with the uh, die set that comes along because the photopolymer that stamps are made out of is super stretchy so it was really difficult to get this correct curve right here uh, on this end. So this was a tough one. So I don't know if I'm going to be using it again or not. Um, this is the sentiment which is called my wish for you and I used best of luck to you. That fit the size rectangle really well, which is one of the reasons why I picked it. I love the font, these big, you know, cursive areas, and then the the, the standard like typewriter font with it. I, I really like that. Um, so that was why I picked that. And then of course it has matching dies. And then it also has a stencil set. So this is really cool because it allows you to do some quick coloring uh, for the bird and for the rose. So this was really simple when it came to the coloring because you just use your inks. And I used Catherine Pooler inks and then I added some gold sequins on here. So these are the cards. And what's cool about using double-sided patterned paper is you can flip flop it around to really make a whole bunch of different versions but I had the same sentiment and the exact same colors on all the roses. So it all really went together really well. Okay. This is a really easy sketch because I basically cut a four by six of the patterned paper. 
and then cut an inch off the left side of every single one and then was able to mix and match all of these one inch strips and flip flop them because there was patterned paper on both sides and it gave me a lot of different combinations okay and I think they're all really cool I think this one is one of my favorites with the yellow and the orange because it goes with the roses so well but I have to say I really I like them all and it's just really springy looking which is one of the things I was kind of going for was a more of a spring look right because it's February we're still kind of going through winter but we're all thinking about spring so really pretty and I got to use up some pattern paper that was really pretty old <laughs> so that was cool and I also had not used that stamp die and stencil set yet so that was another win that using stuff from my stash so anyways uh, so this is available for you this PDF uh, in the description box so download it even if you're watching this later it's past the February month of February in 2024 it's still going to be available so free to you I hope you have some fun with it and I hope that if you make these and post them on social media please tag me East Bay Stamp Chick or you can use hashtag love and a dozen cards any of that to uh, get my get me to notice I'd love to see what you create as well and there will be additional videos showing how to use the card sketch coming up with uh, alternatives and uh, other cards you know this is rectangle but this could be easily be an oval right here you could change the size of this rectangle to fit your sentiment or your stamp whatever you're using your ephemera so there's lots of options and this is a really easy one that you can do a lot of cards really quickly so if you need to make a lot of cards or you want to give a set of cards to someone as a gift It'd be very easy with this one to really do a whole bunch of them. You don't uh, have to use any dies. You can use your paper trimmer and just cut it all out and get it ready to go. All right, so I uh, hope you love this. Please uh, subscribe and like my channel if you like the video, if you enjoy this video and you wanna see more and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the cards and the sketch and if you're gonna use it or not, all right? I hope you have a great day and I'll be back soon with more crafty inspiration. Bye-bye.